Well, today I would like uh, to show you how water fleas give birth uh, to baby water fleas. Hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. A few days ago I've uh, given a live stream and I was uh, simply demonstrating a few water fleas and uh, uh, I was uh, simply showing something using my pipette uh, and I was concentrated on something totally different um, and then all of a sudden one of the water fleas gave live birth. Someone in the chat actually informed me about that but I completely missed that. Um, but I continued to observe the water flea later on and I was able able to see that the water flea um, continued to give birth uh, to several more of those offspring of those babies. Now, the water flea um, reproduces uh, both uh, over parthenogenesis and also over fertilized egg cells. Okay, so here's a little bit of biology that I need to explain. Uh, parthenogenesis is, is when uh, the babies develop out of so-called unfertilized egg cells. Normally egg cells are fertilized, um, however in this case uh, the water fleas are able to reproduce uh, um, out of unfertilized egg cells. So those egg cells they develop in the so-called brood chamber um, of the water flea that's uh, located in the back uh, um, of the water flea um, and then um, when the babies are basically ready to be uh, released, uh, to be born, uh, then they uh, are released uh, one by one. And because the egg cells are unfertilized, for this reason the, they are genetically the same to each other. And so they're genetically clones, so to say, but not only that, they're also genetically the same uh, to the parent, to the mother. Um, so this is uh, a process that biologists call parthenogenesis and is a very good way to very quickly reproduce because those water fleas do not need a mate partner um, in order to reproduce. However, of course, water fleas are also able to reproduce over fertilized egg cells. And this then has the advantage that uh, there is an increase in genetic variability. So the genetic diversity is higher. And this is also important for making sure that water fleas are able to survive a change. Um, if you want to grow those water fleas yourself, then um, you can do that quite easily. All you do is, is you fill um, a glass of pond water, um, hoping that there will be some of these uh, water fleas, like for example, Cyclops and Daphnia and a variety of other water crustaceans, you hope that they're going to be present. Um, you can see them without any problems, uh, without a microscope. Um, and then you start feeding them a little bit of dry yeast. Uh, they really love eating that. Um, the yeast cells are significantly smaller than the water fleas and therefore they have absolutely no problems um, actually in eating them. And, and after a few days, uh, you're, you're probably going to see the population of water fleas really explode. Um, and uh, then uh, if you you catch uh, one of the larger ones then you might also be lucky enough to see that it's a female that's actually now carrying its offspring in, in the brood chamber. So easy to do, uh, also a very suitable project uh, you know, for education in schools and also with children um, and uh, of course also fun um, to observe under the microscope even for the more experienced uh, um, among you. For that uh, I would like to leave it at that now. I um, hope that you like uh, these type of videos. Do please consider subscribing uh, to this channel. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. And see you around next time. Bye-bye.